<laughs> okay, Ashish, go ahead. You you had you were telling me uh, in the break that listen, I'm going to take the minister on on these proposals. I'm not going to agree with him. <laughs> no, I think it's refreshing. I think especially for the parents, you have a straight talking man after such a long time in this position. Yeah. He's talking common sense. He's speaking from the heart. That's great. Do the class 10 in a heartbeat. No one is going to get hurt. Mm. Yes. Certainly in schools which are absolutely up to grade 12, right. nothing. nothing. All the people who are going to sure. fight you mm. have a vested interest. Mm. Yes. But frankly, that's not going to change much fundamentally. Do that. It's a great statement. First 20 days, 30 days, you've done that. The issue I want to bring up, Mr. Sibyl, is the how-to of this whole thing. Mm -hmm. What is the last mile? And, you know, one wish I have for you. I want you to be the first minister in the history of India who sits in a classroom for 100 hours over the course of your term. Done. Mm -hmm. I want you to sit in classrooms, yeah, watch it. Yeah. We'll do. Yeah. That's a promise. And we'll be there recording it. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Watching okay. children and teachers, teachers. Yes. and it will solve so many of the questions. Okay, in fact, let's get some voices in yeah. from children and teachers. But yeah. there was a student here who said, I want there to be a 10th standard exam because I want to have that discipline so that I'll actually study. Who was saying that? If you do not have the 10 boards, the children will not have that pressure on them to study. And when they go to 11, they'll be like, oh my God, so much of burden on them suddenly. So that won't be good because, you know, the marks would come okay. down. And I think, that, I think, I think, I think we need to answer that. Years. We need to answer that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when I was in school, uh, at that time school for me was still class 11. That's right. Right? Yes. I had no class 9 exams. Yes. Mm. Yes. Right? And I'm... Doing okay, no? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> More than okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you another example. All of Europe, you have what is called the International Baccalaureate. Now, the International Baccalaureate also is in India, yes. in yes. Kerala yes. and yes. some yes. other schools. So, yeah. Where's the class 10 there? Do you think the mm. people who pass out of International Baccalaureate are any less, uh, you know, endowed, endowed exactly. than, yeah. than, than students who, yeah. who do yeah. class 10? Yeah. So I think that's a myth. Issue is not how well you do in exams. Issue is how well educated you are. Mm. And also what, a no, what, yeah. a, what are the kind of sensitive this citizen is. you are going to be yeah. as you move into society? So this, is not, this, is, this is not about exams. Yeah. This is about India. Mm. It's not about marks. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. What she Go ahead. Yeah. I just want to say something to you. You know, Just because you're being tested doesn't mean you've learned anything. That's exactly. Right. Going to school is about learning things. Yeah. Testing is one part of the yes, process. Absolutely. It is not to scare you, right. not to scandalize and, you, no, no. not to throw you out of the system. Yeah. And yeah. I think this is you very don't have to another, suffer in school. Yeah. Saying that. Yeah. Another very important thing is that at least for four or five months, actually there's no learning happening absolutely. in yeah. class 10. I mean, after about, say, uh, August, October, or August or September, you've just sort of, all you're doing is that rote. Six months of such an important time of your lives has gone, and, and until you but get your but there must have been, but there must have been a rationale for the 10 plus 2 system. There must I think have been it was a rationale the vocationalization for the of education. So that to actually give people a standardized test by which they could take that uh, pass out of 10 standard and go and apply for no, a. No, but for they a look at the vocationalization in, in, in that. It never happened. Uh, look at the degeneration, Sagrika. Yeah. The whole thing was a test. Yeah. And for the sake of test a textbook, sure. and for the sake of textbook, mm. a testing procedure. So it procedure. was like a standardized was test for everyone you know. across social audience. Let's take the next question that is actually come to us from uh, Aditya Vignesh of DAV Boys Secondary School. And I. So my question to you is, why can't a uniform grading system be in for grades from 1 to 10? Because parents usually compare their words with the first ranker, and this in turn leads to a kind of mental pressure among students. Want to respond to that? Absolutely right. That's He's what right. I suggested. That's, what you want. That's one of the things I said. That we want that. Sort of how yeah. fair is that? Again, I come down to it on the bright student who might say, hey, listen, I'm getting 95% mark. For Why God's, should I get the same grade for, as someone for, who's for getting For God's 90? sake, this is all over the world. This, this is happening. Is happening. Yeah. So is everybody doing injustice to bright students all over the world? Okay. There's a grading system. You Absolutely. take the international baccalaureate. You yes. have a point system. You yes. get 39, yes. 38, yeah. 40, Absolutely. 41. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so you can't judge from one to the other. That's right. This is a very narrow understanding of bright Mr. Yeah. Minister, you know, one of the things I think you need to push really hard is this bright and weak yes, mouth. Yes, you need to stop. Absolutely. We are labeling no, ourselves. But, 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 but is, that, is, that, is that a little bit utopian? Because at the end no, of the day, no, at the end of the day you, you, are, you have to see, have a distinction between people who are perhaps Sa attaining Sa a certain level. Exactly exactly why this vocabulary stays. Okay. Because people don't know what to do about teaching and learning. Okay, let's hear what you're saying. True, Do you mean that if somebody gets 100% marks, he's necessarily the brightest? Right, right. Yeah. Certainly not. Absolutely. But I have only one question for you. Go ahead. Um, Mr. Sibyl, I completely agree with you, and I feel that I've, I've also took the um, International Baccalaureate 
exams. And I feel that, you know, although, they, although the course was really rigorous, I felt that I was on par with everyone else, and it gave equal opportunity to my fellow students, you know, to excel. So I completely agree. And, okay. Yeah. Anyone here who has a comment on whether we should have marks or grades? Good evening, sir. Uh, I would really like to know the basic idea why not marking and only grading, and what do we do with the real 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 toppers seriously because only the grading as it has been already discussed the grading will generalize the students okay the student also said that so that there will be no difference so that I, you know i want to ask you a question if a child gets say 96 in maths and another get 99, 99 in maths who is better exactly can you judge i don't think so Exactly. That's the issue. Absolutely. That's, that's the whole, whole issue. That's the I think what you're proposing, and, uh, Absolutely. and I think what the, what the minister is proposing, and I think what he's leading us to is a complete change in mindset, perhaps. Absolutely. And that really that's need to go over a change in mindset. Need. But I'm going to come down to, this, uh, to the national board, because that is hmm. the question we're asking on the segment. Uh, your rationale for having an All India okay. board. Okay, my rationale is the following. And I don't think that will happen tomorrow. I'm not proposing it for tomorrow. I think what we need to do is increase the quality, level of quality of education in schools all over the country, mm. right? And once, once there is a level playing field, then after class 11, you shouldn't have to sit for class 12. Mm. Every child mm. sits mm. for a university exam. That's right. Yes. Right? That's it. Yes. But you cannot do that. Mm. Unless the quality of education is uniform throughout mm -hmm. the country. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to sit no, for a class. No, but the states have a lot of problems no, 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 with that. No, that's they're the they're point. They're Therefore, I cannot do it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, once the right to education bill is in mm -hmm. place, once the state boards are on, on, on board. board, the state mm -hmm. governments are on board, we then. put greater investment into state education, mm -hmm. increase the quality of those schools, then only can we think of that. Yes. I, I'd just like to link what we are, let's say we are looking at a five-year horizon. Because we know at you'll least, be there for at, at least, least five years. At least. And we look at children who are in fifth standard today, yeah. who five years from now will be <laughs> eligible for, uh, you know, tenth. We do, uh, as Pratham, we do a survey across the country. This year will be the fifth year called ASAR, the Annual Status of Education Report, in which we have a very simple arithmetic and a reading task. And the reading task has uh, a, about a eight sentences, which are at second standard level. And we find that on the, on the national average today, and this is done in rural areas, there are both private and government school children. Right. It's done at home. Uh, we find that 50% of children who are today in fifth cannot read fluently a second standard mm. text. Yeah. This is very now, interesting. Functional no illiteracy. Yeah. So I'm yeah. saying that that doesn't mean things can't change. Mm. But I'm saying that if we want to think incrementally over the next five years mm. to say this child today who, mm -hmm. I'm not saying good or bad or ugly, yes. that he can't today really read fluently and the fifth standard the fifth standard texts are much more difficult mm. this has no samyuktakshars it has no complicated syntax i want to take this child to have a really fighting chance to really do well in whatever kind of 10th standard that we envision for our country yeah, how do we take these steps so that's what do we do how would, how would that's a quality because debate because there's a, you know everything is so layered there's a tremendous amount of layering you've yes. said it yourself and there is no standardized uh, system of testing there are no standardized Tools, right. even the kind of teachers. No absolutely. How would so having this a national is what, board help that? This let, is very let, important. Let me, I, I want to place before you why I said this when I was thinking about it. And I said it because, uh, because students should have the mobility to move from one state to sure, another sure. without having to bother which school they went to. Mm. Right? I want to come from Tamil Nadu to, to, to Punjab. I should have no problem. No, but you already mm. have the left saying, but why shouldn't the Bengal no, no, have no, no, their no, I'm own just, I'm saying, For example, in Europe today, 40 European countries have got together and started what is called the Bologna process, mm -hmm. through which nationals from different countries, a Polish person, student, can go to Germany if he mm. so wants. Mm. They want the whole school system in 40 European countries to be standardized with one examination. Mm. And these are different nations. Mm. But Why? Because it, that results, no, no, that results in mobility. You can get a job from, you can get a job easily because you can move from one country to another, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you learn three languages, so you can go to any country you want to go to. No, yeah. no I, I can't, I mean, we can't replicate no, no, that and we don't never, want to. Mm -hmm. But, no, no, no. Ultimate analysis must be that you must. But would that no, be like the joint entrance exams? Yes, why? Yeah. Not? why not? That's no, what we have right now. But, but, but education being a state subject, every state, like yes. for example, Tamil Nadu, might right. feel.